Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to solve quadratic equations on the Casio FX991 MS calculator. So a quadratic equation is an equation that looks like this where the a, b, c represent known values and the x's represent unknown values that we're trying to solve. There can be at most two possible solutions for these x's. So an example of this quadratic equation would be something like this. And if we want to solve it on our calculator, we need to use the mode key that looks like this and is located here. All right, so if we wanted to solve this, to start, we would press the mode key on our calculator three times. One, two, three, until we get to this menu. And then we'll, the option that we want is the equation, or EQN, so we press one. Then it asks us for unknowns. We don't want these. What we want to do is go to the right once and get to degrees. Choose two degrees and then it will bring up this screen where it asks us what our a will be. a will be the number that goes with the x squared. So for this example, we have one, press equals. Then ask for our b. b is the number that goes with the x. So for this is three. And then it'll ask us for c, which is the number that doesn't have an x. So in this case, it'll be negative four. Press the negative first, four equals. We are then immediately given our results. So the first possible solution, x1 is x equals one. And if we go down one, we get x2 equals negative four. So that's our next possible solution. If we wanna solve another quadratic, we can press equals and it'll bring us back to the A, where we can enter a new set of variables. So if we had another example, let's say this quadratic here, two x squared plus nine x minus five, we could start by entering the two equals B, that's nine for us, and then the C, which is negative five, and press equals, and again, it spits out our results. So our first result is x equals 0.5. If we go down, x2 equals negative 5. So 0.5, negative 5, those are our two possible results. And if we're done using this and we want to go back to our regular mode on our calculator, we simply press mode once to get to this menu. And then we want to go back to COMP or COMP mode so we press one and we're back at our normal calculator mode and we can proceed to do any sort of calculations that we need to do. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there.